Yeah, just checking out bikes. We're actually a Scott dealer in San Diego. Oh, okay, sure. What's new? What was that? What's new? Uh, for us, it's Scott. There's a lot yeah. in there. So yeah. ground up, fully redesigned from the, the wheels to the cockpit and stem. So on the, the wheels this year, I'm super excited about. A lot of testing from Nino and the Scott Schramm team. So we have our brand new Silverton, fully redesigned. Um, comes with DT, a brand new DT Swiss hub. Yeah. That's a 370 with upgradable internals. Um, 30 mil internal diameter. Uh, this year, the Schwabe guys is talking to them. So we actually they developed the Wicked Wheel with the, the Spark. So we're the only ones spec in the Wicked Wheel this year. So brand new. Oh, that's cool. Tire from Schwabe, 2.4. Um, max tire width is a 2.6 tire width yeah. on this. Um, and a brand new Synchros uh, Fraser DC bars. And so these are 760 with a 5mm ride uh, on them. And a lot of cool things about these bars. We have obviously a top cap mount, so we have a two piece grommet uh, in the front. So you can run different light attachments, different GoPro mounts. Um, we really went customer forward and uh, thinking on this bike when we, when we sat down and thought about it. Brand new, we designed twin rocks on it. So you got your dropper cable at the bottom, runs a little bit thinner cable. A four millimeter cable that just came with the Jaguar X-Baking. Oh wow. And so less stiction in the line. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but you can also run a normal six millimeter cable as well. Um, obviously, the most noticeable thing, the integrated shock. Um, yeah, yeah. The thing that everyone notices the most. Um, so the integrated shock, uh, longer run times between services, yeah. having it lower in the frame. Um, obviously allows us to steepen the head angle without adjusting the progression for the shot. Um, so steeper, steeper seat angle. Uh, two water bottles in the frame as well. And then obviously we, we kept our um, our same suspension system, so we have the flex stage as well. So how, uh, as a shop or a customer potentially, how am I going to access that for service? So it's super easy. So you have the uh, trap door right here. And so the trap door just comes off. And then right there you have all your adjustments. So you have your twin lock adjustment, you have your air, you have your compression, you have your rebound. Um, and so for me it's a lot, been a lot easier to work on because normally you had to go up through the frame, up through the grommet um, on the old when you're running your twin lock. Yeah. But this one, it, everything's right there. It's right there. Yeah, and you got carbon routing for your uh, dropper post, so there's no more getting your dropper post stuck and trying to shimmy that up. Um, we're able to have it uh, easily accessible and running some cables along its super easy. We have little uh, mounting points where you can just do a quick stuff. Plus, you mentioned serviceability. That thing's gonna get zero grime on it. Exactly, zero so grime. Get in there once in a while and kind of wipe that area clean, you're probably in pretty good shape. Yeah, exactly. So, you, you know, if you just once in a while take a look in there, you're probably gonna notice very minimal grime, very minimal stuff like that. So you're gonna probably double the life of your shop as well. So very easy to see, and this is our tuned version. So tuned version is one of our highest end models. So we we'll spec'd it as such. So we have XTR brakes, full Kashima coating um, on rear shock, proper. And stuff. So hopefully I'll have like six of them in my shop by tomorrow. Yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> we're shipping. We're shipping. So it's uh, you know it's just. Time will tell how fast yeah. you get them, but they're awesome. coming in as fast as they come. So. And then also, something that we don't really call out readily is newly redesigned grips. So the grips have different hardness and softness zones. Mm -hmm. And what we did, we worked with a, a, a company in Switzerland. Yeah. And so all the people from the Swiss office were putting on these sensor gloves that have like hundreds of sensors. And they go around and they, they ride the trails uh, local to the office. And they took that data and they made uh, two sets of grips. So we have the AM grips, which is found on this, and the XC grips, which is found on our RC version. Okay. And so they both have different hardness and softness zones based on your wrist position. Um, so these would have the AM grips, and they have different zones. So I'm super excited about it. Just the little things that they took the time to think about on this bike, yeah. I think really show uh, through and, and make it really shine, in my opinion. So Appreciate the info. I mean, yeah, for sure. Scott, so what's cool about Scott, it's always like crazy innovation. Like, yeah. No one's doing anything like that. Exactly, yeah. We're always pushing the envelope, you know. Uh, as our tagline goes, innovation, technology, and design. And I think we've really uh, kind of shown people what to come uh, in the bike industry and, and at Scott. So, this year uh, just came out, I think September 1st. Um, and the brand new Scott patron, patron is the, the correct pronunciation. Got it. So this is our patron 920. So 
Um, obviously noticeable on this is the brand new integrated rear shock on this. So 160 mode travel front and rear. Um, new Bosch system. So this has the 750 watt hour uh, Bosch battery. So biggest battery bit ever made. And so since the battery is so big, and the frame had to give us um, an idea to come up with a solution not to have a dragging bottom bracket or too low bottom bracket height. Yeah. And so we're able to um, twist the motor 45 degrees to allow the the battery to still be removable as well. And then we have an uh, oversized headset on this. It allows you to run six cables up each side. So you really have a lot of options to keep your cockpit up front looking clean and tidy um, while still running anything you want, whether it be your drivetrain or any other accessories you have. And then we have a brake light system on this that is removable, um, that comes stock that you can hook up on that bike. Um, so you maybe want to remove it if you're just getting a little rowdier or something like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, and if you get rowdier, you know, it's, it's definitely there to take a punishment. And yeah. So you're not, uh, it's not really something to worry about. Got it. A lot of it would be aesthetics, you know, so, if you're like, oh, I don't want to have a brake light on my 160 mode travel mountain bike, Yeah. that would be the reason, like, I think a lot of people take it off. But that was the first question, if you saw it in Europe, it was like, hey, is that removable? Because we know yeah. people are going to ask, and yeah. it is. Oh, cool. um, removable from the bike. So it's, uh, yeah, we're super excited about it. This is the new RockShox domain. And then, as on all of our bikes here at Scott, we have our integrated twin lock system as well. So, adjusting the front and rear suspension simultaneously, um, allowing you in that trail mode to have a little bit steeper head angle to be pitching that better climbing position uh, for. And then, dropper post on the bottom, and then the new Bosch kiosk system, which I know they're excited about. And I believe this does have the new e-shift system, e-shift mountain bike mode. Okay. Um, I believe is what it's called. I could be wrong on this, so yeah. you might need to edit it out. <laughs> <laughs> we'll look it up. Yeah, but so new uh, e-mountain bike mode on this, so it allows you to just adjust the power based on how much uh, input you're putting into it. So if you're going downhill, it's going to just drop the power to save the battery life. I, from what I understand, that's Got it. The, the idea behind the system. Mm -hmm. And then as you put more power in, it can adjust it as well. So it puts you in boost if you're trying to get over that little steep crux. Right. Or it puts you in a um, eco mode if you're just kind of just lollygagging around. Cool. So yeah, yeah, it's a very cool system. And I know Bosch is very excited about it. They could probably give you much more in-depth uh, yeah. knowledge on their new system. But yeah, also, I think, uh, I think this is a big deal, putting it up here. Yeah. Because of clearance. I mean, that's a common thing with e-bikes. If you're getting dropped down, like into here, Exactly. And you're trying to clear an obstacle or a rock or a log or whatever. Exactly. And there's also, you know, it has some bash protection, you know, because usually yeah. your your motor's kind of exposed right there. And so now we have like a good solid protection from that motor. So you're not going to get that, those rough hits on the motor. Sure. And also the new motor's lighter um, and smaller. So okay. it gives you a little bit more compact version of that motor, which is super cool. As, as things progress, as we always see with technology, things get lighter, things get smaller. And uh, I think Bosch is definitely showing. Even though the, the battery is bigger, yeah, um, they've definitely compensated there. Cool, I love it. Yeah, so, yeah. What was your name? Kyle. Kyle Louis. Yeah, nice to meet you. Thanks yeah. for your time. Yeah, yeah, thank you guys. Yeah.